Hey guys, this is another edition of In the Shed with Red. We're here with Reese. We're both wearing blue. And today, we're gonna tear the golf cart apart. Um, 1995 club car, DS, aluminum frame. And having a few problems with it here and there, but ultimately we wanna get it up off the ground. We want to change the color, do a couple remodels. Right now it has the old bucket on the back we're gonna change that and put a seat because there's like eight of us that live in this house now all right anyway here we go in this shed with the red all right so first thing we're gonna do is just pull the top this thing is broken it leaks um dry rotted so ultimately we're gonna get this off we're probably gonna replace it try to put something in maybe even something with some speakers for my kids so you just have some 7 16 bolts all the way around There's a bracket on the back side too that I didn't know about. Throw the bolt across the shop and we'll pull them all off. All right, so we got the top off. We pulled the back brackets off. Um, one thing I didn't mention earlier is we're keeping everything bagged and tagged um, just because I don't know what parts I'm going to need again and whatnot. So you'll see us do that throughout. Um, we've undone the back. Now, I don't know if this was homemade or if this is the way this car was manufactured. Looking at this bucket, I think it probably was homemade when it was originally put on. Um, so we've got all the bolts out of it. It's just four bolts that hold it to the frame. We're going to pull it off. Set it over to the side. Reese, come over here so they can see the, the frame on this. So this is welded to the seats, and I'm guessing this is probably original, honestly, looking at it. Um, and then it's got welds coming down and screwed into the main frame here. So we'll figure all this out. Um, and once our back seats come in, we'll probably just leave it like it is for now. Come on up to the front, Reese. We're gonna work on pulling these off now. So now we're getting into where we're gonna be pulling the front of the cart off. I'm gonna be careful. I've watched a few videos on how to do this. Um, and it looks like these two bolts are part of the main frame. These two, there's some under the dash. And I think I have some down low. We'll work through it, figure it out, and then we'll go from there. All right, guys, so we're ready to take the front off. Um, watched a couple videos. And where most of the screws were, had some problems because this cart's old and some of the screws had rusted out and I broke them. So we're going to have to replace them in the process. Two of those were on the front bumper here. Come here. So you'll see they're Phillips head screws, but somebody's already basically wore them out to the point where they wouldn't i couldn't use a screwdriver even my biggest phillips so i tried to drill them out and in the process of drilling them out this is so old that i literally popped through and broke it so we'll have to figure out a way to handle that whenever the time comes to put it back on or we may just get a new one all right come on Reese, let's show them this so you have two screws that come out when you take the big bars off the top and the support bars so right here right here these are two of the main things that hold on to your frame and then you have this strip that comes around. You have two screws on each side that hold this strip into place. You got two snap brackets right here, which were rusted too, unfortunately. Uh, and then on the inside, right here and right here, let's show them over there. Look over there. You have two, two holes um, there. They have two very small screws. Mine were rusted out. I broke all four screws undoing them, uh, unfortunately. So. All right, so then I pop this bracket off, lay it right there for now, and then literally it just, boom. My headlights were hooked up, I'm done the wires there, but other than that, that's it. So the front's off. All right, seats are coming off. We got four half inch bolts and nuts, um, down to two in the back. We're gonna pull these off real quick. We'll get the other side. All right, guys, so end of the day today, we got the front off. Um, fairly easy, a couple rusted bolts, biggest problem. Having some trouble on the back. I've got some bolts that are just so old and rusted, I can't get to them. I need to go get a couple grinding wheels to pop some off and maybe an oscillating tool. The other thing is really a pain in the butt is I can't get the shifter off. My guess is that it was coming off at some time and somebody's actually put some glue on there and it's really 
bound down so i'm trying not to break my body to get it done but as you can see we got these bolts were easy to come out these bolts were actually rusted i had to grind a few of those and then so i'm going to show you the bolts that are in here holding this thing on you have two down there and then you have three around your shifter you need to pull your shifter off you have bolts on each of the seats right here Get the two easiest bolts to get out right there you need to pull your cover off just held in by two bolts here and then you have two hidden bolts here these are literally rusted get a shot and these are literally rusted down i'm gonna have to get underneath with a, a tool and actually grind the bolts off from underneath to pop this off but as soon as we get that done we'll have the body off and we'll get to work all right guys i uh, just got through drilling out the last few bolts like we showed on the other video and just before i had to drill out the back two had to drill out the two on the front um I ended up on the knob just cutting the dang thing off because somebody glued it to the switch so i'm gonna have to grind that down to get a new one back on but they're like five bucks on amazon so not terribly worried about that let's take her off go while we got her off we're gonna do some work on the motor um do some tune-up stuff change the oil we'll get this sanded down and paint whatever color we decide all right guys i'm back uh to show you a little bit about what we've been doing with the 95 ds i got the front end of the lift kit on today um i actually have torn the body completely off of this thing which made it a lot easier um, to work on the, the lift. Uh, I'm not gonna show a video of me putting it on because it was a pain in the butt. And the actual hard part was getting it torn apart. Putting it back together is really easy because the kit comes together for the most part. Um, I did put new, new shocks on the front. I don't like them because they're not, I don't feel like they're quite big enough. They said they were the right size when I purchased them, but I feel like I need a a little bit larger shock because the ones that came off they seem to be a little bit longer uh, and a little bit bigger um, I have the back off right now still we're working on this and uh, maybe tomorrow a couple days later I'll try to put the rear lift on I just have the tires on the front right now just to put them on I don't have new tires yet I was kind of waiting to see what my end result is and what kind of tires I would want. Um, here's the body. Right now I'm going with a more of a camouflage army green. I'm not gonna camouflage it, but I'm not gonna spend six, eight hundred dollars on a new body kit because I'm gonna be driving this thing through the woods for the most part and it's gonna be getting scratched up. So I'm not gonna waste that kind of money. I spent about 30 bucks on camouflage paint from the Home Depot and I've sprayed it down. I'll probably put a of clear mat over it whenever I'm ready to put it back on but other than that that's where we are right now and I'll show the rear lift whenever I do it all right guys so we're finishing up putting on the rear lift kit to the 95 DS uh, quite the pain honestly um, 30 year old golf car lots of rusted bolts uh, I'll show you some of the problems we had and some of the changes we made uh, Reese is jacking it up now. We're going to finish putting the rear wheel on. So these bolts here that come on the rear leaf springs are an absolute pain in the, the tail. Let's get back. Uh, absolute pain in the tail. I ended up having to take my metal grinder and just cut them off. And then they're so old that I have problems even popping the studs out of each side. And there's no room to really work in here, which is a challenge. And I even have the rear off, so it makes mine a little bit easier. We put new um leaf springs in and these are the heavy duty version because we're going to put a rear seat on here to haul my 10 children around um new shocks going on now on these shocks let me show you the way this car came originally was here is where they connected on the bottom it didn't have a, a bottom plate like you see on some of the other youtube channels so but the, the kit comes with a new plate and it's tied down and we have the new shock on i just don't have them screwed yet because we haven't taken all the weight off the axle 
or haven't put all the weight back on the axle yet. Um, once we got it torn apart, we got it back together rather quick. I mean, tearing it apart was quite the beast. All these had to be replaced. Um, the only thing that I can think of that would make it a little bit easier is if I actually had a floor jack um, to raise my axle up and down. I don't, so I had to use boards and a, a regular two-ton jack, and it was a little bit more challenging with that, but we've got it done, and we're gonna finish it up, so, hey. All right, so we're back in. Um, got it. the lift kit on, the tires back on. I've ordered new tires. We'll show you that it later on in the video. Rehooked up all my electrical, show you where I've mounted down to this so far. Um, new clips back on. These don't have to come off to take the box off, but I took them off and painted them along with the choke. Um, new bolts here because I had to basically cut these off to get them out to begin with, uh, along with these two down here. So two on the bottom, these three hold the ignition switch on, and then you have two here to go in and then you have two on the back that's what actually holds your frame on other than that it's a lot of grommets and we'll be putting our seat on next our back seat and i'll show that but i wanted to show one thing so on the back here at the starter and excuse me at the actual motor that powers your pulley um whenever i put the lift kit on the ground cable that goes from here and was mounting underneath right here is not long enough it's only about 10 inches long and so it actually broke in the process of me putting the lift kit on so i had to get a new one and i've got this and i mounted it actually over here off the side so it wouldn't be run underneath and i could easily access it i also bought one that's a little bit longer this one's 19 inches gives me just a little bit more play so as the motor shifts it'll work appropriately um what we're going to do next is we're actually going to get ready to put the back seat on and i'm gonna have it in various spots because i'm gonna have to paint it a little bit i'm doing a flat black trim with all my metal work and this is shiny black so i'm gonna paint it a matte black to match and then we'll go from there i'll show you a video on that in a little bit all right guys so big day today we got the back seat cargo area on um quite a pain honestly Instructions were terrible. Just kind of had to work our way through it, make a couple extra holes where there weren't pre hole drills. Come on, Reese, let's show some things that we did. So, if you look on these seats, there's a mounting plate that you can either um, use this across and mount to, or you can mount it individually to the brackets. After mucking around with it a little bit, I decided to just put it to the, the brackets there, and then we'll come around to the back. Come around back, Reese. So, first thing we did was we put the plate on here and then we added the seat struts and then basically you just work piece by piece until you get to that now we have the seat here pretty high um and we don't even have the big tires on here they'll be here tomorrow pretty pumped about that but pretty comfortable sets pretty well overall satisfied um this will actually flip into a cargo bed which I'm also pretty pumped about. Um, so that's that's that because my kids will be hauling pine cones and pine straw and everything else with this beast once we get it done. So tomorrow we'll get the front fixed. The tires should be here sometime tomorrow. We'll shoot the final video. We'll be ready to rock and roll. All right, show you what we got done tonight. Last time we, uh, we got the back put on. Um, today we got all our front on you have the roof on now i want a new top uh, i couldn't find one i've looked on like facebook marketplace and places like that so i just sprayed this one black but i really want a new one a more heavy duty one if i can find it uh we have the lights the front bumper the new tires are here tomorrow they were supposed to be here today and they didn't show all right so we finished the golf cart uh for now i got a few little things that are going to come in for it but for the most part we're ready to rock we just rode it down the road and a little bit rougher than i would like but for the most part it rode really well these tires can hold 32 pounds of pressure i have them down at 20. seems to help a little bit rather than having them full full 32. i have no reason to really have them at the max a few of the things that we did come here Reese, let's show them. so we put lights on the front 
Um, bought these at Harbor Freight, $8.95 a piece, and just wired them through to the old lights that were there. The switch was already mounted. Come around to the back. And I bought these other lights. Uh, it was a pack for like seven bucks at Harbor Freight for tail lights. Um, much cheaper than the $140 set that you'd buy off of Amazon for this car. Uh, we bought this rack. I don't know what brand it is. Uh, it was the cheaper brand that I found. Um, it came in a shiny black. I painted it in matte black because I wanted to match the whole theme of the golf cart. I'll put with it. It'll fold down into, it'll fold down into a tray. It'll go all the way down. I'm just pushing it down right now and it has a safety handle to hold on to them. Um, getting the seat on was a bit of a pain. I will say that. And around on the front, we repainted all our trim that was chrome. Now we repaint our cup holders. We got a new knob. Um, I will tell you that if you have one of these carts, I would recommend buying one of these knobs. They're like 30 bucks, but man, it makes it so much easier to shift. Um, on the inside, not much there. We changed the oil, cleaned it up just a little bit. Um, a few little wiring things that we did, but nothing crazy there, nothing pertinent for this video. One of my favorite things is the tires and wheel. Uh, I got them off of Amazon, about 500 bucks for the pair. But, man, I had a hard time finding them. I didn't want the real elaborate kind because this car's mostly going to be in the woods and working around here in the house. So I found these, really love them. They match the golf cart. I'm very happy overall. So, in general, this is our golf cart. This is our build. Uh, we'll show you whatever else we do to it later on.